Hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel where I'm trying to completely change my life, um, which I have been doing over the last few years. I've tried to do more exercise and get a bit fitter and healthier. I'm eating a completely different diet, trying to eat a lot more raw fruit, especially fruit. And uh, I've also given up my part-time job to grow my own fruit and vegetables and be a bit more self-sufficient. Um, one of the other things I'm trying to do with my life is have a bit of an overhaul of my house and reduce my rubbish. Um, this is a big problem for a lot of people. I did live for nearly 13 years um, with a large family, there were seven of us, in a mobile home and uh, we didn't hoard anything but I have found in the last few years since we moved to a bigger house we seem to have a lot more stuff. Um, so slowly, um, a bit at a time, I'm trying to reduce our rubbish and today I'm going to tell you how I'm trying to stop the junk mail uh, from coming into my house. It's a small thing but it does over um, a period of time accumulate and add to the amount of bits and pieces dotted about the house. As you can see, I'm, I'm actually in my tent. Um, we put the tent up to our little tent up to see uh, what sort of state it was in. Now we've got some sunny weather, uh, ready for the summer and some adventures. So I put the tent up, and as my house is rather untidy, as we're in the middle of a huge clutter clear out, I thought I'd come and make the video out here so we don't have to tidy up. Anyway, junk mail here in the UK. Um, as most people are aware, you get loads and loads of pamphlets, leaflets, advertising, um, magazines, everything free through the post. Most, I'm afraid, they just go straight from our post box, almost straight into the recycling. There's very, very rarely anything that really is useful to us or catches our eye. Very occasionally, and I did think about this when I was started opting out of the junk mail, um, we do get a couple of vouchers, but then I don't think we get enough sort of things back to warrant the amount of things we get if you know what I mean I thought oh, I'm going to um, forgo the couple of free vouchers because some of them encourage you to spend more money anyway and uh, so I'm clearing out my junk mail now I spoke to the postman we've got a very friendly postman and said can you stop putting it in my post box and he said well I can but you need to phone up and do it officially or else he could get into trouble because he could be um, accused of just not wanting to deliver it which is especially true in our area because we live in a rural rate location and if there's just junk mail um, he has to come sort of a little bit way out sort of um, out of his way if you like to come here just to deliver these these leaflets and they might accuse him that he just doesn't want to do it so I said well no no I don't want you to get you into trouble um, who do I ring up? What do I do? So he gave me a phone number and I rang that up um, and I think it was our local depot and they said oh you've got to go to um, somebody higher and they gave me the main number. Um, I'm not sure if it's the same for every area or whether it's individual so if you want to do this I would suggest you ask at your post office or your postman. So I rang up the, uh, the helpline and you do have to press a few different options and I wasn't quite sure what it came under so I just sort of pressed a few random things and I did get through to a very nice lady on the other end of the phone and she said yes there is no trouble opting out of it's officially called door to door here in Britain and uh, it's yes here it is it's you have to opt out opt out from door to door so it's not called junk mail here we are if you can see that opting out of door to door so it's not called junk mail on the, in the official official line it's door to door mail and she said there's no problem but she had to send me a form it has to go in writing so I've been sent these forms there's lots of them and you have to read the terms and conditions and then all you have to do I've got so many here is you literally just have to put your name and your signature and the date because at the top of this there is is your address um, and then you send it back and it is a free post to send it back as well and then what happens is that by your name in the post office thing you get a blue sticker and that says that you've opted out of door to door and um, they won't deliver it to your house that's the theory um, our postman said there won't be a problem because he knows I've already chatted to him um, but I will get this official blue sticker to say no more junk mail please um, 
as I say, there is a few forms and, and it, it was a few sort of press two, press three, you know, but it, it wasn't too bad and they were very, very helpful on the other end. But you can't do it for anyone else because um got some, uh, I know um, my husband's parents are uh, pensioners, they didn't want to get any either. So I asked for them and they said, no, unfortunately it has to come from them, they had to phone up. So you can only do it for yourself and your own address. But they were very helpful and so hopefully I'm going to fill in these forms and have one less bit of rubbish coming into my house. So if you want to opt out of your junk mail or door-to-door -door mail here in the UK, just go and get um, the phone number from your post office or your postman, ring through, fill in the forms and hopefully all will be well. I hope you have fun in the summer with your tent uh, and opting out of your door-to-door. -door. Please give this video a thumbs up for reducing rubbish and um, having fun in the sun and I'll see you next time.